The Dow and S&P 500 higher Monday afternoon, but not so with the Nasdaq, which is trending downwards, uh, as cyclical stocks outperform growth in tech stocks. Let's get a view of the markets from Wayne Kaufman, his chief market analyst at Phoenix Financial Services. Good afternoon. Happy Monday to you, Wayne. Same to you, Fred. Well, we're seeing more split action in the markets, Wayne. Now the Dow is basically trading in record territory or near it. Uh, the NASDAQ withdrawing further. Um, where are we in this, um, in this downturn? Is there more consolidation to come? And is it in the form of a split market? I think it is. Um, we had a lot of technical damage that took place on the major indexes the last couple of weeks, mostly on the NASDAQ 100 and on the NASDAQ. And this morning when I was giving my meeting to the firm, I said that we had a very nice rebound on Friday. It was technically based. The NASDAQ 100 bounced off a Fibonacci retracement level. And when, when markets don't know what's going on, when people don't have real fundamental news and markets get sloppy, they tend to trade on technicals. We saw that Friday. Seeing it today as the S&P 500 went up to the 20-day moving average and then pulled back right from that average. So a lot of technical trading. But the NASDAQ, even this morning, I said to uh, the brokers that it hopefully we had a bottom on Friday. But if you're a technical trader, there's a lot of resistance less than 1% above where we closed Friday. So to a technical trader, that's not really very attractive seeing resistance just a short way away. So uh, from a technical standpoint, you do not see Friday as having marked the bottom? It could. It could. But maybe we just need to go sideways and consolidate. Uh, it definitely marked a short-term bottom. But if we start taking out Friday's bottom in Japanese candlestick charting, we had a lot of hammer candlesticks. Hammers are considered bottoming candles. If we take out the bottom of those candlesticks, that's that's very negative. Hmm. Um, so are we at a turning point in the markets where all of a sudden valuations are mattering again to, uh, on the fundamental side? We've been there. We've been there. This rotation has been going on a while. It looks like it'll continue. I think that uh, there's probably still upside in energy, which has been by far the leading sector this year. I think there's a still upside there because the sector is so under owned. OK, that's one reason. And uh, probably the fundamentals with the price of oil moving up are going to get better. And in terms of uh, some of the other areas like financials, which banks are my favorite sector right now, I think historically, whenever we've come out of a recession and uh, and the financials start doing better as interest rates rise, Analysts tend to underestimate the operating leverage that the banks have, and they then they tend to beat earnings estimates handily. And we've started seeing that J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs really wallop the earnings estimates. And I think that's going to continue to happen for the banks. And lastly, Wayne, the Treasury yields, the bench, benchmark hitting 1.6 percent uh, again uh, today uh, from a technical standpoint. Where are we going to go in terms of uh, yields? Is it going to go much higher? How fast? Well, you remember our last interview back in December, we were at under one, about 0.94. And I, we were going to go 1.3 to 1.4, maybe higher. Well, we did shoot up there a little higher. And what I've been talking about the last month or so is if we're really recovering, pre-COVID, the 10-year yield was 1.9, just a little under two. If we're going to have this dynamic recovery and you've got the greatest stimulus in the history of the world coming from the government, you've got central banks with unbelievable accommodation, why shouldn't we get at least back to where we were pre-COVID? And how soon? Sense? And how soon do you think a 1.9? I think it depends on how quickly we actually reopen and get this good news. Today, the CDC said that people who've been vaccinated can get together without having masks. So I'm seeing, you know, stocks like Disney, the airlines, uh, a, a lot of the recovery stocks are just doing great. So 
It could happen very soon based on how quickly everybody's vaccinated and how successful the vaccinations are. Soon being what, by summer, spring? Uh, definitely, absolutely by summer. There's no doubt about it. And the one caveat I have about the, the whole, the market would be um, if by the time we get through spring, if we still see energy being the leading sector in the market, that would be a red flag to me. Why so? Because in the cycle of asset classes, you get bonds typically lead up and down, followed by stocks, and then followed by commodities as the last one. Keep an eye on energy. Thanks a lot, Wayne. Our thanks to Wayne Kaufman of Phoenix Financial Services. I'm Fred Contayama in New York. This is Reuters.